this edition of Paint Your Engine, we're going to have a go at one of William Dean's 440s, the Duke class. Before we start though, I'd just like to give a thank you to everybody who's been supporting me on Patreon recently. If you really do like this series of videos and you'd like to help it continue, then please feel free to at least consider becoming a patron from as little as £3.50 a month. It really does help. Now the Dukes were initially built for express passenger trains on the Great Western mainline west of Exeter, and some found their way onto the Cambrian network in Wales. So let's imagine it on a coastline setting, maybe when the sun's going down. I love a good sunset picture, but let's see how hard it is to paint one. The Duke, or Duke of Cornwall class, was one of William Dean's lightweight express passenger designs. By 1892, the last of Brunel's broad gauge had been abolished, but a large number of Gooch's broad gauge engines had been rebuilt by William Dean, including eight single driving 222s. The design was fine on the billiard table east of Bristol, but the slower and more hilly section from Exeter west to Plymouth and Penzance demanded an engine with a lighter axle loading and smaller driving wheels. So in 1895, Dean produced a brand new 440 with a parallel boiler and 5 foot 7.5 inch driving wheels which he named Duke of Cornwall. It was essentially a basic super lightweight passenger engine for the more secondary areas of the GWR network. So you could think of the Duke as a late Victorian predecessor to the Collet Manor class of 1938. Over the next four years, 40 Dukes were turned out to a similar design. A minor alteration was the slightly thicker tyres resulting in slightly larger driving wheels, but the main difference was in the boilers. You see, Dean's chief assistant at that time was of course the inimitable go-getter that was George Jackson Churchward. Now by this time Churchward had been studying locomotive designs in Europe and the USA. He incorporated a boiler with a Belpaire firebox, which was invented in Belgium in 1864. He would also go on to create a conical shaped tapered boiler which became standard practice for classic Great Western locomotive design from the early 1900s. Numerous Dukes were trialled out with other alterations, such as wider cabs, fireboxes that were raised and flush with the boiler barrel, and one with a screw-driven reverser instead of a steam-driven one, but overall, the breed could be largely identified by the curved double frames over the driving wheels and a dome. However, with Churchwood forever striving for better machines, he couldn't stop at just building more Dukes. In 1899, he began building a different kind of 440, which became nicknamed the Bulldog class. While initially fitted with parallel boilers, these would be changed over to tapered ones from December 1904. They also ended up with squared off frames instead of curved ones, which were reportedly easier to build. So you can think of the final design as similar to what City of Truro looks like? albeit a little bit smaller. By the 1930s, many Dukes had already been reboilered. 20 were also rebuilt and reclassified as Bulldogs. But if you thought that was confusing in any way, shape or form, then you're in good company. However, seeing as the class was now more than 30 years old, time for withdrawal, replacement and even rebuilding into the next 440, the hybrid Duke Dogs of 1937, was gradually coming round. The final Duke to be withdrawn was number 3289, later 9089, which went in July 1951, after 52 years service. There's one story about this engine which claims her St. Austell nameplates were removed in 1930, due to confusion between her and the Cornish town served by the Great Western, though if you've ever been to the town, you'll find that it's a lot bigger and a lot less elegant than the locomotive. And before you decide to go after me in the comments for that remark, take it from someone who's spoken to a number of the locals who refer to it as St. Awful. Unfortunately, that was the last of the Dukes confined to history. But you could say half of one lives on. One of the Duke boilers was fitted to the chassis of Bulldog number 3425 from 1906 to create Duke Dog number 3217 in 1938, which now of course resides on the Bluebell Railway in Sussex. So, if you think this shape looks familiar at all, it's Great Western. Need I say more? Also, it seems I've messed up a little bit. Again. The bridge was supposed to have been an interpretation of one of the bridges on the Cambrian network, like the ones seen in that one shot of the railway children, but most of them look nowhere near as spindly as that. I don't know though, maybe it fits the old-fashioned style of the engine's outline, but you be the judge. 
So there we are. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed painting it. If you like what you see and you'd like to see more, then please feel free to like, share, subscribe, discuss, contribute to Steam Locos in profile on Patreon, and why not have a go yourself? Why not paint your engine?